Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Today I'm starting a brand new series called A Trip Down Memory Lane where I reminisce about some old childhood toys. And this is uh, my first full string Woody doll that I've ever had. And it is a Hasbro Toy Story and Beyond Woody doll. It, it's the one that came with a guitar and today I'm gonna be reminiscing about some, oh, damn it. Today I'm going to be reminiscing about some old memories I've had with this toy and in the future I'm going to be doing a video on the pull string uh, Thinkway 1996 Woody doll that I've had as a kid and the Burger King puppets for sure. And before I go any further, if you guys are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you don't have a single video. Now without further ado, let's get into a trip down memory lane, Hasbro, Toy Story and Beyond, pull string Woody doll. So yeah, I'm going to say straight off the bat that I am aware that this is the Woody doll that everybody says is really really ugly looking and uh, has a lot of questionable design choices but honestly if I were to look back at this toy and what I think now do I honestly think that this toy needs to be remodified no not necessarily because this is honestly a good rush of nostalgia and this is definitely a toy I am never modding because of uh, the fact that this was my first whole string woody doll as a child and I've had a lot of fun memories with this toy and I do love how he's got open fingered hands definitely close to movie accurate and the body size very slim now will I say that the head could have been a little better for sure and uh, yeah the hat here is a one-piece mold here uh, yeah this Woody doll I've uh, seen better days I got it got him off eBay for a really cheap price but he's not the he's not the most terrible one I've seen he just looks a little beat up but I think it brings him a little bit of character uh, I will say that they were kind enough to color in the, the dark brown band here for the hat here the guitar for sure has seen better days I mean at least it's got all of its strings but the face on it is gone and it is very scratched up and scuffed up and honestly yeah this guitar definitely uh has uh, been used and played with and it does say that this is from 2001 so this was literally a year before i was born so they were doing this to kind of promote some old uh, toy story 2 toys and they wanted to do it in a brand new uh fresh sense and i appreciate what they did with it i mean it doesn't really look that bad honestly now i'm gonna take the woody doll off the stand here to show you guys a better look now the reason he was on a stand standing up there in the centerpiece with everybody like i've shown on instagram a handful of times is because currently my woody doll is in california getting remodded by today i grew up there will be a video on that very soon i will say i liked the vest the buttons on the other hand could use a little bit of work in the belt yeah they didn't even really try for the belt honestly i think it brings it even more character for what they tried to do love the attempt and i do like the uh, holster here not movie accurate of course but at least it's a uh, close right up here on like the think way woody doll down the line past the 1990s and the badge definitely could use some work and like i said the head mold could definitely be better but uh overall i just love it because it uh, brings in some character uh for the doll the jeans here are a print on denim material they are not real denim and the boots have really nice weight to them now i didn't write anything on this boot but on this boot there's andy on here now i will say that i do plan on making a short horror film with this woody doll being the center piece of that film now i'm really excited to be working on that project i'm in the process of writing out some ideas at the moment hopefully it'll be out uh in a jiffy but i'm definitely gonna take some time on the project to actually make it an actual attempt at a short film now without further ado let's take a look at the uh voice phrases in the voice box here of course the pull string here is not movie accurate especially the ring uh here is the voice phrases Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of phrases, but honestly, this was enough to satisfy me back when I was a kid. Love playing with this toy. Had a lot of fun with it. I will definitely say my favorite part of having this Woody doll was definitely collecting the variants of it. Now, there wasn't really a whole lot of variants of uh, the Woody dolls for the Hasbro a line but there were some with different hats there was one that came with wheezy and of course there's probably like one different variant where it had a completely different shirt different vest and a different hat and 
and some different accessories. Uh, that was the Deluxe Adventure Woody. I've been looking far and wide for one brand new in the box. I only found one within the last like year of me collecting, recollecting these toys. And I tried to win the bid, but I unfortunately lost and I was really disappointed because that was definitely one of my favorite Woody dolls I had as a kid, the one with the brown shirt. Honestly, it was a very fun Woody doll I had. And I also did like collecting the Buzz Lightyears, but that will be for another video for me to talk about for a trip down memory lane. And I know I have said time and time again how I wish that we've gotten a complete 100% movie accurate Woody doll or Buzz Lightyear or whatnot. I don't think I would have wanted to change anything from the Hasbro line because they were just extremely nostalgic. The uh, 1996 Thinkway Woody doll over there is another story. I mean, I like the way he is because that was like one of Disney's first attempts to get a pull string Woody doll. Now, I will not mod that one ever because again, that's nostalgic to me. I will say that I do like the Woody doll the way it is, unlike what a lot of people have said about this Woody doll. Now, do I think it could have definitely been better with some aspects of it? Yes, but at the same time, I don't think it should be changed or messed around with. I think it's good for what it is because it was like a really, really fun toy for me to play with. I love the Toy Story and Beyond line series. In fact, another toy I got from that line currently is this guy. Uh, Rocky got him on eBay by himself. Honestly, I'm very happy with him because this is my first ever Rocky action figure from the Toy Story movie. In fact, I never had one as a kid and I've always wanted one. And honestly, it's just a dream come true for me to recollect all these toys that I've always wanted as a kid, but I never had the opportunity to get. And yes, you guys should be aware that this is a very special video because look at me, I'm currently wearing my uh, Pixar character shirt. Got all the best Pixar characters right here. Yeah, I was really excited to make this video nonetheless. Very happy to uh, start the series, a trip down memory lane, and I cannot wait to make more videos on my childhood Toy Story toys. And yeah, I know you guys have not seen my face in a bit right now, so uh, I apologize for that, but I've been uh, more hyper-focusing on the toys in the videos, but you guys will get more of my face within uh, future uploads. And I did want to point out that I finally got Dolly from Toy Story 3 and 4 right over there very uh happy that i got her in my collection and i did get the three peas in the pod but they were definitely the wrong size and i'm gonna have to update that as soon as i can one more thing i should mention about the hasbro toy story and beyond woody is that the prototypes that they like put pictures on the boxes that these dolls came in were definitely nightmare fuel they were definitely worse than the mold right here so I'm just saying you guys should be a little grateful of what we got right here because we could have had a lot worse with the Woody doll. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Congratulations, everybody. You have reached it to the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, Avi. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.